Hey, what's up, Dean? See your performance. Uh, that's a weird... Aha, my light. Um, back down to shop. And... We got F's S10, the Spaghetti S10. We got the new core support in. He brought it up Saturday. Um, so it's actually a really, really nice piece. Uh, I'd imagine it was all drawn out in CAD. Um, it's all laser cut uh, aluminum. TIG welded. It's got all nice welds on it and everything. Um, the guy definitely put some time. You know, like the headlight holes are all pre-drilled. Most of the mounting holes are drilled. Um, like the main bolts down there were drilled. These fenders here were drilled. But you can kind of see down there. You can see where the inner fender is not quite lined up with the core support. And that's one of two things. Now this inner fender I didn't take out. Um, so... I'm kind of thinking maybe it just missed its mark on where the bolt goes. Um, but that's not a big deal. The little side mounts for the fender right there that go through the core support into the fender. Those are perfect. Um, that one down there is off. It's not horrible, but it's off a little bit. Not, it's not a big deal. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of an overkill of bolts to hold these fenders on. Um, but I got that in, it dropped the radiator down. I did have to trim, you know, this is a bigger radiator. It's, it's a be cool radiator. Um, so I had to trim the bottom down here. I had to trim that out. To be able to push the radiator back where it wants to kind of sit naturally um and then the top uh had uh this piece was like this um farther over i could probably show you better on this side here it was kind of like that a little bit over more but as you can see the radiator hits it a lot so I trimmed both of them out make room for it uh, it's a it's a pretty good sturdy piece it's made a one inch aluminum square tube eighth inch wall and then all eighth inch aluminum plating um, like I said it's all laser cut it's got to be drawn out on a CNC because it's Pretty accurate how all the holes and everything are. I got the inner fender back on, everything plugged in. I started running the ground, got the headlights on. I got to do the catch can, got to get a belt, a couple other things. But the big thing now, um, so I had a friend of mine, sort of a friend of mine, he stopped by a few weeks ago. And uh, he's looking to buy like a work van, a cargo van. Um, so being that I have a work van um, that I don't really drive anymore, um, he asked if I was interested in selling it. So I said, yeah. I said, you know, basically I was going to pull the motor transmission and scrap the rest of the van. But if he wanted to buy it, he was more than welcome to buy it. So, um, he offered to buy the van as long as I put a running motor in the van. So that brings us to the Escalade that I literally just pulled this motor out maybe November, December of last year, somewhere around there. Um, it's a 5.3 that I had in here for four or five years and it ran really really good um we had the turbo kit on it making like seven eight pounds of boost um that's all back there now i already took everything off as you can see so i'm gonna pull this motor out change the valve covers uh change the cam probably gonna throw the smaller heads on it um 
like 706s or something like that and I'm gonna throw a like a LQ uh, 4 camshaft in it 60 camshaft and that helps the five threes that actually helps them roughly 30 to 40 horsepower ish kind of um, and now we're gonna put that in the van um, and then you can kind of see right here it came the van came factory with a 6.6 .6 Duramax LMM um, which personally I like the LMMs kind of the best of them um, me personally that's what I like so that kind of can give you an idea on what's going on we are going to be putting that motor do it this way that motor into this truck um, and this will become my daily and I know my wife's gonna want to drive it again because this was her truck um, forever she drove this truck she actually raced this truck at Sebring <coughs> um, and she cheated horribly off the line um, but regardless I beat her but anyways, um, so she really liked this truck, had to have this truck, so I want to revive the truck. I want to bring it back better, nicer for her. Um, having a Duramax in it will, it'll be fast, it'll tow, it'll do whatever I want it to do. Um, but like I said, I want to bring it back and kind of make it better for her. Like, you know, you got the standard Chevy tattered seats you know they crack over time so i want to get like replacement covers get rid of the cobwebs because i'm such a nice guy um you know the back's not so bad it's got a ton of crap in it i know but um the back seats aren't so bad they need to be cleaned up real real good probably all the monster caps should probably be taken out for her. um probably do a new headliner you can see it's got the famous florida weathered drop in it um and clean up the door panels and you know i just i want it to be nice um and reliable and fun actually uh, she really really wants to buy I'm sorry I'm trying to kick pallets off my feet i just stepped on um she really wants to buy like a tow behind um i don't know like a 22 foot or something like that um single or double axle whatever it is so she really wants to buy that so that we can kind of drive go somewhere park sleep have fun relax big thing um get away from the craziness that's going on uh but yeah that's you know what i'm doing today this week actually finishing up jeff's truck and i'm gonna get going on the escalade now this is gonna be one video and then the, the next video is not gonna come for a little while because i basically gotta get the motor out of the van i might make a video on that um because that's squeezed in there like 10 pounds of crap stuffed in a tube sock um so I might make a video on getting that motor out. I might not. It all depends on the mood, the day, um, and how difficult it actually becomes, aggravating-wise. Um, so, and then I'm not going to make a video putting the 5.3 in the van and getting it running and driving and all that because basically it's, it's just getting put in. It's going to run, drive, like every other 5.3 in the world does that came in these vans. Um, but that's it for right now, kind of what's going on today, where I'm at today. Did a bunch of work on Jeff's truck, um, took a break from it for a minute, jump on the Escalade, start getting that tore apart. Uh, and then, you know, I'm going to jump on getting that motor, get the van out of here, and then getting the Duramax in the Escalade. Um, and it's not the first time it's been done. It's been done a hundred times. Um, but this will be the first time I'm doing it and I will kind of walk through 
all the steps to doing it that I learn. Uh, it's going to be learning for me. So hopefully somebody else will learn from it. Um, or just decide to bring me their truck and have me do it. So anyways, but I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. And we appreciate you commenting. If you would, I'll interact with you or make fun of you. Whichever. Thanks. Have a good day.